everything weird. Hi guys, so actually I still don't know where we're going. Uh, the stop that we will be heading for. Um, let's go. It's really oh, it's already outside. My buntag. My buntag means good morning in Cebuano. Thank you. So, what's our first stop, May? Uh, Santo Nino. Santo Nino. Next, we're going to Fort San Pedro. I'm going to look for a gown for my car. Okay. So, let's go. Oh, there. So that's Magellan's Cross. So our first stop will be Magellan's Cross. So that's their sideline. Guys, their full time is snatching. So. Like, they have multiple jobs in here. Love it. Yeah, love it. Yeah. Like, like the mercy, you know? Yeah. Like yeah. Snatch And there you go. Let's go. So we're here at the Magellan's Cross. Let me turn this one around. So that's the Magellan's Cross. There you go. So we're getting in. <laughs> there you go. So there are a lot of tourists. There are a lot of visitors who are coming in here. And this is how it's going to look like. <laughs> you want to have pictures in there? Huh? Are you sure? Okay. okay, sorry, sorry. The Colegio de Santo Nino and the Santo Nino Church as well. There you go. Hello. Hi. Yeah, wow. I love Cebu. As if I'm not from here. It's like when I was still a kid, I've been craving for balloons and it's like this. <laughs> yeah, gives color to the area. The area is just gray. Been for uh, about, yeah, a hundred years or so. I'm just gonna place the description on the video how old Basilica is. Okay. This is the cause of charity. More of like colonization. Closer look of the 
fine artwork of the basilica. The artwork, I have to look at the this one, the ceiling. So this is where the usual uh, mass celebration uh, takes place. So, for example, uh, during the Sinulog, yeah, yeah, for the Sinulog, it's in here. Yeah. This is where I see like the videos. Yep. <laughs> it's like it's very hard to get in when I was still a kid. It's like you need to struggle just to get in here. For those devotees who have some sort of prayers, requests, then they're going to lit, uh, light a candle over there. And the price of the candle will, it's actually an optional, on an optional basis. So if you're going to give, then it's okay. If not, then it's still okay. So this is the famous La Fortuna Bakery. It's like, yeah, La Fortuna. It's like they're famous for Otap. Yeah. This is the famous La Fortuna, right? For Otap. Yeah, it's like the Salubong items. There you go. I think this is the first La Fortuna, La Fortuna branch here in Cebu. Yep. So this time we're heading to Fort San Pedro, somewhere in here. The weather is okay, but it's not that inviting. Huh? Okay, so we're already here at the city hall. There you go, that's the city hall. In front of the city hall is this one, the Magellan's Cross. And at the back of Magellan's Cross, it's like uh, the Basilica del Santo Nino and La Fortuna. It's like 900 meters. Wow! <laughs> so, in front of me now, this one, that is the ever famous Island Souvenirs. Yeah. It's like where uh, Cebuanos like where Cebuanos uh, buy souvenir items like shirts, um, keychains, uh, ref magnets, and all those stuff. Okay, so it's Island Souvenirs. Island Souvenirs should uh, promote my blog because uh, I've been promoting theirs. It's been a couple of seconds already. Lucky 7 is still here. It's like uh, before there was a 7 uh, Eleven, Lucky 7 is already there. It's like even before I was born, it's like there already. It's like a park slash a tourist destination slash uh, I don't know. Especially no vendors allowed. Well, okay, there. And who's the king? Which one? Oh, okay, there. Yeah. I mean, look at us. All of us are from Cebu, right? Yeah. There. Except for me. Not except for Micah. <laughs> and it's like it's our first time in here. Well, for me, I think it was on my elementary days. Oh, that's so old. Yeah, <laughs> that's so old already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this one is an acacia tree. So do you know that if an acacia tree is as tall as that, it's more than a hundred years old. Okay, that's a fact. And 
they've had a lot of acacia trees in here. Port San Pedro. El Fuerte de San Pedro. There. A lot of tourists in here. Fort San Pedro in the past. And that is a cab. <laughs> this one is, I don't know who this guy is. Oh, it's Miguel Lopez de Legazpi. So the Spaniards are using doll shoes already at that time. <laughs> and there's the cat again. <laughs> Hello. Pay 90 bucks or 95 pesos for three each. Persons. Uh, three, three persons already. Okay, wow. That's cheap. So that's 30 pesos per person. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. It's good enough. <clears throat> Thank you. What's that? Oh, that's the gallery right there. Lapu Lapu looks like a Korean long hair right here. <laughs> Is this Lapu Lapu, right? <laughs> Iglesias? Oh no. Sorry. Okay, Enrique de Malyaka. Magellan's interpreter. <laughs> Christopher Columbus. And that one is. Who this bad boy is? Yeah, dad bod, right there. Who's this guy right here? I think it's Lapu Lapu. Oh, I thought he was fit. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Maybe yeah, <laughs> something like that, or maybe after all the Spanish offerings, he was able to consume all of it. But, yeah, uh, Portuguese. Yeah, he's a Portuguese. Look at their eyes, it's like they're having a good time before the fight. Oops. So, this one is the young Lapu Lapu. Yeah, I think this is the younger version. This one is 13 years old. Yeah, this one is 30 and this one is 45, something like that. The place is good for prenups. This one. If you want to do photography, then this is it. This is the place for the defense, the place of defense, yeah. Here's the cannon. Yeah. And who are the enemies? Us? No. This area. It's like a headquarters, right? I think it's over there. The sea is over there. You can see the picture. It looks. Yeah. I think they're trying to stop um, invaders from going over the other island. Ah, okay. So if That's they why. Invaded, so 
this is mm. real? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, yeah I think this is real. It's oh. been in here for Maybe they just like hundreds and hundreds of years like, already. Yeah. They like molded it or something? Molded it or welded it. Yeah. It's a watchtower or something. But it's kind of dark. Wow. What is that? Nothing. Just plain nothingness. So what's it's like a torture chamber. Really? <laughs> you can get in. Fort Santiago, guys. How was it? How was your experience? San Pedro. San Pedro. <laughs> Fort San Pedro. Sorry. <laughs> no editing required. It's pretty, it's pretty good. There was some history, historical, what do you call it? References. What? And it's to understand more how uh, Lapa Lapa. And it and makes it you understand you more how. How what? Lapu Lapu beat up Magellan or <laughs> the other way around? And like the places. Yeah. And the reason why it's near the sea okay. is because the ships go there, yeah. the people Kalaban, go down Kalaban. there. Uh, then they should have changed the name to Port Santiago, not Fort <laughs> yeah. Santiago, right? Yeah, maybe because they couldn't pronounce diba, it. I guess, diba, Bisaya, we yeah. interchange F and P. Ah, yeah. So, so it makes sense. Yeah, that's why it's Port, careful. not Port. Sometimes it's Port yeah. San Pedro. Then sometimes it's... Port San Pedro, so it's dual purpose. Okay. <laughs> dual purpose building! <laughs> Your ladies and gentlemen. There you go. <laughs> My uncle right there. <laughs> Look at these gangsters right here. They're kind of tired already. So we're out now and we're heading towards which part? Where are we going next? Where? Either the Are you guys from Vinaba? I'm okay. Well, I'm okay. Okay, we can go to the gown rental place first and then let's go to Lovey after. Okay. Where's that located? The gown rental place. Yeah. It's in Gorordo. Gorordo Avenue, yeah. Yes, and then I think it's one of the biggest places. So, uh, they have a lot of branches for uh, that gown rental place. I want okay. to bring my katu. But the one in Gorordo is like their main or their biggest oh, okay. branch. Then, How much is the price range for that? For the gown? Uh, I'm not sure anymore. But you know, we'll see later. And okay. then after that, we'll go to Lavin in the Sky. Oh! Where's Lavin? Where's Lavin? Lavin in the Sky. Okay, careful with <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Lavin in the Sky is located at. <laughs> I need to watch my every time. Uh, Lavin in the Sky is located in the Sky. In the Sky? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> It's in Busai. Busai, okay. Oh, okay. It would give you a really good view of the uh, Cebu skyline. Mm -hmm. okay. At the same time, you could enjoy good food, good okay. wine, good wow. ice cream. I love wine. Mm -hmm. uh, ice cream. Yeah, they, they serve uh, a mixture of Spanish or uh, Churros? Italian. Okay. <laughs> Spanish. Chuba, chuba. Churros. Okay. What else? Uh, careful, careful.
Okay. And what else? These are really good and reasonably priced wines. Okay, that's nice. Yeah. And they make their own ice cream. They make their own ice cream. Oh, that's nice. We're gonna try that one. Mm -hmm. We're gonna and write a new review for that. Yeah, well, yes, yes. I think, that, I think it deserves a, oh a different uh, YouTube uh, uh, video. Video. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. So if we just recompile that one. Yes. So be back later on, guys. Bye for now. Bye for now.